welcome back to my channel. Today um, I'm going to be doing a Ricky's unboxing. So this is going to be the Ricky's Cult Crushes um, box and this is for the month of September um, and this is actually going to be the last Ricky's box um, which is kind of sad you know because it it, it actually was really good. It was like every time I got this box, which wasn't that many times, honestly, I got it maybe two times or, or you know, three times with this. Um, I, I was quite pleased with it. I thought it was pretty cool and I thought it had all kinds of little items that were really useful. So, you know, I think maybe the company, I don't know why they decided not to move forward with it, but I knew that this was gonna be the last one. So I definitely wanted to grab it. You know, because it's kind of sad, you know, that there's not going to be any more of a good one like this. Especially, you know, I live in New York and, you know, that we have that store in New York. Um, I just thought it was going to be, it would have been cool to have the box, you know, like right there. Especially because it chips out so quickly because I live right there. But um, I am in Florida still, so I was able to get the box. I had it shipped here. So when I ordered it, I knew that I was going to be in Florida. So I ordered it to be here and I'm leaving on October 3rd. So I was like, where the heck is the box? I need I need this freaking box to unbox it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to have my dad ship it back to New York. But it got here today. So that's why I'm doing the unboxing. <laughs> so let's open it up. And here we got it. So this is what it looks like. The last box so we got a little card and this box was actually curated by Alexandria Ryan and she is another youtuber that I, I really I, I used to watch her unboxings and then I decided not to watch her anymore I don't know there's something fake about her that I didn't like mmm I don't know I don't even know how to explain it I just didn't want to watch her anymore there's something about her that I just didn't like. I don't know what. But that's who curated the box. And this is the last box. It apparently has only four items. Which I think, I mean, that's kind of stiff. You know, because this is going to be the last box. I would think that they would want to make it like extra special. But let's see what they have. So we have a palette. And this is a palette by LA Splash Cosmetics. I honestly don't know this brand, but let's take a look at it. It looks pretty cute. And, oh, okay, so it's a highlighting palette. It's a highlighting palette with really beautiful colors. Um, probably not gonna use it just because, you know, how many highlighters do you need? Like, I don't really need that many highlighters. And I had that highlighter when, that I actually purchased from Flower Beauty. And it actually looks pretty similar to this. It has, like, one, like, a pinkish color. It has one of, like, this kind of color and one of the this kind of color. So it's actually pretty similar to the one that I have. So, you know, hopefully we'll get those 50 subscribers and I'll be able to do the giveaways. I'm kind of aiming for 50 subscribers and you know if I can if I can get to 50 then definitely I want to be able to do all the giveaways um, and then let's see what else we got we got a lipstick from NYX and this one is a lipstick called um, lingerie so this one is lip Lee 04 and it's sort of like a a nudish sort of like you know color I th I don't know if it would go well with me it looks an awful lot like the one that I have from Too Faced that that came in a different box I think it was probably a boxy charm so maybe I won't use it I'll just pass it on and then let's see what else we have ooh this I'm excited about I thought this was just so cute and this is a Kiss My Lip Patch. And it's like a little patch for your lips. And it says right here, the lip patch gives you dried lips, moisturizing and soft. So it has rosehip fruit oil, 
strawberry extract, um, sherry extract, you know, so all good things. And it looks like it's, it's made in Korea. And it's just really cute. So I'm definitely happy about this one. And then this is the one that I wanted. This is the reason that I got the box. So this is going to be a Grande Stay Put Invisible Lip Liner. I always use lip liner because I kind of have fine lips and I do like to outline my lips. I don't like to make them bigger. I like just to outline my lips to put on the lipstick. And I really feel like when I put lip liner, it just helps it stay put. It just helps it you know look better so that's the reason that i always try to use lip gloss when i make my makeup like i have my makeup now and i have i did my hair and all that stuff but i usually i usually don't do all this just because it's a lot of work <laughs> and it's like i don't know i'm more of a all natural like i like to just you know be myself and not really do that but today was girls night out and I went out with my sister and I had a really good time and we're here in Heathrow in Florida and we went to Ruth Chris uh, for the happy hour it was just nine dollars for Cosmos and um, I had like a really nice steak sandwich at, at, bait at Ruth Chris and um, and then we went to another local Mexican place and um, it was really really good it was really fun I had a, I had a really good time so that's really rare because you know i live in new york and she lives here and we really don't get to do that at all so it was nice to have that you know i i wanted to do that so it was good it was good so i'm really happy that i got this one i definitely want to try it on so yeah this one's made in the usa and yeah I'm really excited this is the reason so overall I honestly think that they could have made the box better given the fact that it's the last box you know it is only four items but the four items are pretty good for $14 and um, just for these two honestly if you were gonna get those two anyways it is worth the $14 so I'm not gonna complain about it um, you know I think it's it's a pretty good box um, yeah I think it I think it was worth the $14 overall and um, if you did get it let me know write down in the comments what you thunk what you what you thunk what you thunk what you thought of it and just let me know let me know what you think and if you liked it if you were sad that they're not making the box anymore or if you're glad because it wasn't worth it let me know what you think I'll definitely be writing you back and letting you know what I thought. So, thank you so much. Bye.